Okay, so I'm down here. Derek goes over the top. I do my sit up, but I go behind. Now, a couple things you can do here. I don't go all the way behind on a go behind. I come across either the thigh or I can even pull the shin right here. You see where I'm at? And I pull this in and I drive the guy sideways, you know? And then I get my knee up into here, pick up my, my points or whatever, or move into a position from which I can work the, uh, you know, work his body, look for other submissions here. But uh, it's different than, it's kind of like a cross face to the lower body. You see, if I go all the way behind, you know, if I go all the way behind, he has a chance if I don't break me down shot. immediately to stand up on him. Whereas if I drive the guy sideways, once I get to the side, if I reach through to here, pull this into the crook of his knee, go over here, notice how my shoulder's down low, and I drive into him to the side, right here, I'm driving in, getting my knee above his knee, and coming up, working up the body here, until I get something. That's move one. But we can also work submission. I think if I turn this, you know, let's, let's turn this way, most of them are over here. So guys, I'll do it for this side first, all right? Say the guy goes back in his haunches a little bit. Carl Gosh, no, no, uh, like you're sitting back and stays almost. Some guys will do this. It's very hard to get to a foot over here. So I'll, a lot of times rock the guy forward to create a space, take my hand down between his legs, grab his toes. You see where I am? Did you see where my foot, my hand went? Right between his legs, I knocked him forward to create a space. My hand goes through all the way to grab the toes. My left hand, palm up, goes above his key, Achilles and grabs my own wrist. And then I just create a small circle with his toes right there. It's very effective. You feel that? Pretty effective right away. You know, and Carl Gotch invented it. You know, a lot of people don't know this one, although it's very old. But a lot of people don't do it. It's a good chance for a submission right there. You want to see it again? Let me, let's turn the other way. So these guys over here. So you're all the way around, I think. Uh, can you guys see right here? All right. Now, when he's on his haunches like this, sometimes I'll try to bump him up a little bit or whatever. But he'll come back to his haunches. But all I needed was a space to get this arm between his hand or his elbow and his knee. I go between his legs and you grab the toes. See how my hand goes all the way around the toes? Not his foot, not his ankle. It's called a toe hold. The Carl Gotch toe hold. The left hand goes over his Achilles. In palm up, I grab my own wrist from underneath. And then I create a small circle. My elbow is pushing down and my hand is pulling up. And you just snap the Achilles and all that connective tissue, all that good stuff in there. Very effective technique. You'll have somebody singing the high C very quickly. And anyway, all this, uh, I'm sorry about the really slow sit outs and stuff. But you sit out to the side, try to drive him over. If he's back in his haunches, try this Carl Gotch toe hold. It's a nice little lot that not many people execute or know. And a lot of times that's how you beat people. You beat them with what they haven't seen. Okay, let's try.